2019년 새벽두부터 트럼프 미국 대통령과 김정은 북한 국무위원장이 또한 차례 담판을 준비하고 있습니다. 2차 정상회담의 성사와 성공 여부는 한반도는 물론이고 동북아와 세계 정세를 결정할 중대 전기가 될 전망입니다. 이런 상황에서 2차 북미 정상회담의 당사자인 미국이 어떤 생각을 하고 있는지는 매우 중요합니다. 북한과 직접 협상을 담당했던 조샘윤 전 국무부 대북정책특별대표를 만나 2차 북미 정상회담이 어떻게 펼쳐질지 들어봤습니다. So I went there in June and because North Koreans had asked me to come and get Otto, who was very sick at the time. 대선님 새 만나뵈서 반갑습니다. 사실 예, 저희 SBS 예, 감사합니다. 시청자에게는 사실 처음 인사를 드리는 거죠? 예, 그, 그런 것 같습니다. 예, 예, 감사합니다. 제가 사실 미국 외교관 된게 어, 1985년부터 했거든요. 그래서 작년 5월 달에 리타이 했고 그러니까 33년을 했죠. 예? 그래서 제가 제일 마지막 일한게그 그 스페셜 레프레젠티브 포 노스 코리아 폴리시 그거를 한 1년 반 2년 근처 하고 그 전에는 제가 미국 대사 말레이시아에서 대사를 했어요 그때가 참 어려웠을 때지요 그러니까 천, 아, 2017년 아, 그때 북한이 벌써 아, 9월 달에는 6자 핵실험을 했고 11월 달에는 그 ICBM 실험했고 So I went there because they told me he was very sick and once I went there of course I had to talk with their Ministry of Foreign Affairs as well as their security side 최선희 씨는 직접 만나보신 걸로는 외교관으로서의 느낌은 어떠십니까? To me, I felt she was very competent very capable diplomat who knew U.S. very, very well, because she had been doing U.S. work for a long, long time. So she knew the personalities, she knew the issues, she knew the policies. Mm. They feel that meeting at level below President Trump whether it's Secretary of State Pompeo or whether it's Special Representative Began, they feel that to get best results, they should meet with President Trump. I do believe there is a difference in views between Trump and, and people you know, in the cabinet level with Pompeo and Bolton. I think we have to remember that Bolton, Pompeo are quite conservative ideologically. And so for them, getting an early denuclearization is everything. While I believe for Trump, it is very important to reduce tensions. That's his goal, to reduce tensions. And I think he sees denuclearization as a much more distant goal. 정확히 mm. 미국이 원하는 미국이 생각하는 비핵화라는 게 뭡니까? What they wanted initially, immediate denuclearization, completely giving up nuclear material, ability to produce nuclear material, nuclear weapons themselves, and of course. Their delivery, which is the missiles, they wanted those done. But that was unrealistic expectation. So I do think Trump administration is adjusting, adjusting what the goals are. And so now the goal is to have a discussion 
with these things on the table, once negotiations start, you have to give and take. And I believe if North Korea can offer concretely, verifiably, significant steps towards denuclearization, such as getting dismantling Yongbyon, then I think U.S., I'm sure, will be prepared to do something on sanctions relief. So I think now everyone knows they're going to have a meeting. So that's why I think, but it will still take time in terms of logistics. And this is why I tend to think maybe within three months uh, they will have it. I think you have to start. Where does Kim Jong-un want it? He wants it. You know, he has two, I would say, you know, two factors he should consider. One is he will need support from the local embassy. The second factor is transportation arrangement. You know, he would really like to use his own transportation. I don't think he wants to borrow a plane from China anymore. I don't want a crimpier style. I guess he could do it in Seoul or Panmunjom. Uh, I think that would, you know, especially uh, Panmunjom would be a strong preference for Kim Jong Un. But I'm not sure Trump wants to do it in Panmunjom. That's why Hanoi is a good candidate because it's, it's, you know, he can fly his own plane there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And there are a lot of good hotel facilities, very secure. And, you know, to make, to some extent, Vietnam is a friendly country for both U.S. and North Korea. I think within the administration, I mean, you must remember, number one, the New Year message was a very friendly message, you know? You compare this New Year's message even to last year, is it a lot more friendly? Mm -hmm. Oh, I hope, I hope some concrete steps to denuclearization will have been agreed. For example, you know, that North Korea agrees to verifiably dismantle Yongbyon to stop production of, you know, uh, nuclear weapons and material in return you know, U.S. side could agree to do an end of war declaration to ease some sanctions and possibly, you know, more north-south inter-Korean projects can take place. So those are what I hope will happen as a result of the second summit. 저는 이번에 제일 중요한 역할이 문재인 대통령이 했다고 봐요. 그 작년 그 1월 달, 2월 달 평창 올림픽스 그 다음에 그 남북 정상회담 그리고 미국 아웃리치 
저는 문재인 대통령이 그, 그 중에서, 그, 그 리더들 중에서 제일 중요한 역할을 했다고 봅니다. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.